Hello everyone, I'm Yu Boxiao, and the topic of my project is link keeping based on traditional method and end-to-end -end supervised learning method. I will introduce my project from the following three aspects. Introduction, complementation, conclusion. Self-driving cars are an important development direction for future road vehicles. Among them, the task of link keeping is a key issue for realizing autonomous driving technology. The task of the project is to achieve, achieve link keeping for autonomous vehicles. In the research of link keeping, the traditional method has to divide the task of link keeping into multiple parts, as shown in the middle figure, such as link keeping, lane marking detection, path planning, control logic, etc. And each part is studied separately. The performance of this traditional method is highly dependent on the feature extraction of image data, coupled with manually defined functions and the accumulation of errors in each research part. The complexity, com the complexity of the traditional method is high, but the accuracy is not performed such well. The entry and supervised learning methods treat the entire mapping problem from the input row image frame to the output vehicle steering angle as a single indivisible task. This end-to-end -end method reduces the manual workload and can get very good performance. So this is design adopts a end-to-end -end supervised learning methods. This task, task is realized by taking the actual road driving image frame as shown in the left figure as input using an entry end learning method and directly outputting the steering angle of the vehicle after mode training as shown in the right table. So that has directly gets the vehicle to steer through the front view camera data after completing the training and completes the lane keeping task of the self-driven car. Based on the end-to-end -end learning method, the feature information must first be extracted from the original pixels. This design uses a convolutional neural network, which is different from the traditional neural network in that the convolutional neural network is arranged in three dimensions, and each layer converts the three-dimensional input into the three-dimensional output of neuron activation. In this project, the right input layer sees the image. The width and the height are the size of the image, and the depth is three. This design uses NVIDIA model as the benchmark model. The model structure is shown in the figure on the right. I will explain this model in detail later. The above are the research background of this design. Then I will explain the specific implementation process. The data source for this project is the Tesla open source data I obtained from the open source website. The open source data contains two types of data. One is a sample of the video frame taken during actual driving, as shown in the upper right figure. The video frame is a front view image taken by a camera installed in the center of the vehicle. The picture contains the front of the car at the bottom, the lane markings on the road and the sky in the upper half, many of which are useless information like the front of the car and the sky. The other is a CSV file that records the steering angle of the steering wheel along each frame of the video. As shown in the table on the left, the first column is the time step, the second column is the corresponding video frame number, and the third column is the corresponding view steering angle. Positive means the steering wheel turns clockwise, negative means counterclockwise. After getting the open source data, I pre-processed the data site. First, I convert the RGB image format to the YUV image format. Because the YUV more color model can not only avoid the mature interference between data, but also reduce the chroma sampling rate to reduce the impact on image quality. Later, I compared the influence of the two color model on the accuracy. 
Then I took a screenshot of the image, including removing the useless information of half of the top and part of the bottom of the video frame. Then pair the input image with the label. Finally, the obtained data was just order to improve the accuracy of the model. Later, I also compared the effect of the other input data and the shuffle data on the accuracy of the model. The final image I processed is 66 multiply 200 multiply 3 pixels, as shown in the figure below right. The open source data obtained is a total of 10 sites of videos and their corresponding data. And the first nine sets are used as training set data, a total of 24,300 24, samples. The tenth group is used as the test set data, a total of 2,500 samples. After the data set is processed, the NVIDIA model is used as the benchmark model for training. The model structure is shown in the figure on the left and consists of nine layers, including a normalization layer, five convolutional layers, and three fully connected layers. The first layer of the network performs the image normalization process. The image width is 200, the height is 66, and the channel is three, that is the three channels of RGB or YUV. The convolutional layer is used to perform feature extraction. The first three convolutional layer use five multiply five convolutional kernel with a step size of two. And the later two convolutional layer use three multiply three convolutional kernels. Use value as the activation function. The fully connected layer is designed as a steering controller. The design is a regression problem using MSE evaluation indicators. Okay, let's look at the code. Here are four codes which are using RGB mode with older data and RGB mode with shuffle data. And here's YUV mode with older data and YUV mode with shuffle data. Let's look at this YUV mode with shuffle data. Mm, okay, this. Um, this is the basic NVIDIA model, and this is my optimized model using the ELU activation function here. We can see that. And here we can see that I used the VUV model. And shuffle the data, shuffle the input data. And uh, here is the output. And it will also output a visual image. And here is the training loss with 20 a pack. And finally, it will output the training time and the test loss. Okay, that is the code. And let's go back to the PowerPoint. The result obtained after model training the shown in the table on the right. They are all based on NVIDIA as a benchmark model, but the data site is input in order or out of order. And the color model is in YUV or RGB format. A total of four sets of the results are obtained. It can be seen from the obtained test loss value and the model effect of shuffle input data is significantly better than that of older input data. And the model trained in YV mode has a slight advantage over the RGB mode. I also visualized the results of each training and test as shown in these four pictures, the blue line in the figure shows the training loss and the number of iteration increases, and the orange line shows the test loss as the number of iteration increases. The above two pictures are the result of training use older data sets in different color modes. 
it can be seen from the picture that although the training loss shows a significant decline with the increase of the number of iterations and eventually reaches a lower value, the test loss with the increase of the number of iterations, the fluctuation are large. And even with the increase of the number of iterations, the test loss has an upward trend. From this, it can be judged that the model trained with the older input data site has an overfitting phenomenon, which causes the model to not be well adapted to the new data. In contrast, the following two figures are the results of training used shovel data sites. In this case, the test loss and the training loss shows a gradual downward trend and the number of iterations increased and finally reached a lower value. Judging from this, Training the model with shuffle data size can make the model have a relatively good adaption effect to the new data size. In addition, it can be seen that the training loss and the test loss curves in YUV mode have a steeper downward trend and the number of iteration increase. And the data in the previous table shows that the model effect of training in YUV mode is indeed better than RGB. Above, I have completed the design of the link keeping model through the end-to-end -end learning method, and they obtained that the model performs better in the case of shovel data input in the very mode. Next, I further optimize the model. In the benchmark model, I use the value activation function. In the value activation function, when the input feature sent to the activate, activation function is not activated. The output of activation function is zero and the gradient obtained by backpropagation is zero, causing the parameters to be unable to update. Then causing the depth, depth of the neuron, the weight will never be updated. The root cause of neuron depth is caused by too many negative features of the ready function. In this design, it is optimized as ELU activation function to overcome shorting comments caused by value. When they put value is negative, ELU does not simply erase the negative value to zero, but uses an exponential function to perform the operation to get a negative value very close to zero. In this way, the mean value of the update or output of the activation function is very close to zero and has good robustness to noise. The following table on the left shows the optimized result. It can be seen that the model optimized using ELU function has better accuracy than the original module, regardless of whether it is input data uh, ordered or input data of shuffled. The two pictures on the right are the visualized result after optimization, and the effect of optimization can also be clearly seen. The above is my project, and the following is a summary of my work. First, I investigated the research background of end-to-end -end deep learning applied to autonomous driving technology, and I studied the advantages of end-to-end -end learning and developed a design based on this. Then I carried out theoretical learning and mastered the principle and the implementation me mechanism of convolutional neural network and applied to this design. After building the programming language environment and model environment required for this design, the open source data was pre-processed to obtain the effective information in the data site, and NVIDIA was used as benchmark model for training and testing, which proved the effectiveness of the model to complete the lane keeping task. And through analysis and compression, the ELU active function is used to optimize the model, which improves the accuracy of the model. And is finally writing, writing as a report. Mm, this project completes the precise task of lane keeping for self-driving cars and improves the accuracy of the model by optimizing the design. That's all. Thank you.